that, that one's big. That one's big. That one's big. We finally got a good one. Oh, right there. Right there at the bank. Right there at the and bank. And we're doubled up. And we're doubled up. Oh, let's up. go. Are we doubled? We are doubled up. And this is a big region. Keep doing. Keep going. Keep going. Oh really my gosh. Good. I don't know if I can get this thing here. Unit, boys and girls. Absolute unit. 7.27. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, the spinner bag, that's a good one. Good grief, that's effortless, and I just cast it all the way across the pond, and I stepped in a hole. No way, not first cast. No way, no way. Bad. You would feel less bad, I know, that's a good fish. That is a good fish. I've seen that fish fall it all the way up. Today, Trey, myself, and April are doing a 1v1v1 fishing challenge, but there's a twist. We are doing the best three fishing stores here in the state of Florida, but you're gonna have to spin the wheel to see which store you get, and whatever store it lands on, you're only allowed to fish with that store's specific brand. So we're gonna be doing Bass Pro, Academy, and Walmart. That also includes rod, reel, and all fishing lures you pick, so it has to be that store's brand. So. XPS, H2O, yes. or Ozark Trails. Ozark Trails, yes, correct. Sweet. Only that store's brand. Now, let's spin the wheel and see which stores we get. We have Walmart, Bass Pro, and Academy on the spin wheel. April, you do the honors and you spin first. Ladies first. Ladies first, just spin a rooski. Oh my gosh, sounds like a good spin. Sounds like a, that's a solid spin. God, it's going, 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 gone. Oh, I got Bass, Bass Pro. Bass Pro it is, baby. Okay, Bass so Bass. you got Bass Pro. Now, let me take off. I got an ad on my spin wheel app. We'll wait for this ad to play, and then we'll be right back with you. All right, so we're going to take Bass Pro off the spin wheel, and now all we have, oh, what is that? Okay, now we have Academy and Walmart. I'm going to give it a little spinner rooster right here and see what we get. I realistically want to get Academy because Academy has the most stuff. I feel like other than Bass Pro, like out of the three stores, Academy's definitely got the most. So let's solid spin, baby. Oh. All right, whatever this lands on, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, what, what of is it? course. What is it? I get Walmart. <laughs> All right, Trey, I spun Walmart, April spun Bass Pro. That leaves you with Academy, Academy Sports. Academy Sports. All right, so here's the deal. You can buy a pre-made combo or you can put together a combo if you choose. Now, there is no budget for this. And like I said, it has to be the store specific brand. Also, same thing with the baits, has to be the store, uh, store specific brand. Say that five times fast. The rules are simple. Everyone has their store they spun, there is no budget, and whoever catches the biggest fish today gets to keep all of this gear. Now, you can either keep it, or you can take it with you and give it away to somebody. You can do whatever you want to with it. And if I tell you what, guys, if I win, which I probably will, but if I win, I'll do a giveaway like a couple videos from now. So, is everybody ready? All right, let's check this out. Head, let's head to our stores and meet back up in like an hour. And what we'll do is we'll go over everything everybody got, we'll get rigged up, and then we'll go catch some fish. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna run this way, Trey. You're gonna run this way, too, but you can run this way and then we'll come back and play. That's really silly. All right, so the first thing I found is this Academy combo, and it comes pre spooled with line, and it also comes with some Academy brand baits. But I'm gonna keep looking because TJ said there's no budget, and am I gonna get a $70 combo on no budget? Probably not. There's a mega cast, but it's right handed, and everyone knows I need a left handed, so that's not gonna work. And I'm not seeing any left handed wheel. I didn't find I Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're here in Walmart while Trey and April are at Bass Pro and Academy. This is the Walmart fishing section. And oh god, we are not off to a good start. I want to go with the rod and reel first. A combo. If I can find one, if I can't, I'll put one together. But like I said, it has to be Ozark Trail. It has to be Walmart's brand. Zebco, Zebco, ugly stick, Zebco. Oh, we are Oh, that is no good. 
Okay. <laughs> all right. All I see right now is the Ozark Trail $9 spinning combos. We have blue and we have orange. These are five, five, six medium light. What is that? A five, six medium light. Okay. Let's go to the other side real quick just to see if they've got the baitcaster combo or an Ozark Trail rod and an Ozark Trail baitcaster that I can put together and make a combo. But so far, it's not looking hot. Let's see, we got all these fine rods and let's see, we got water lube? Have you ever seen a water lube? 169.99, that is, oh, that's a spaghetti doodle. I'm good on that. Let's see what else we got. Oops, more water loose. Falcon, Falcon. What is that, H20X? That looks like a carp rod. That thing's ginormous, look at that. That's a thick boy. H20X Angler. Casting rod, $25. If we was on a budget challenge, this right here would probably be the whooping stick of choice. But we are unlimited today. And I just so happened to catch my eye on this bright blue H2X, H2OX Ethos. And I have actually been wanting to try this rod for probably about six months now. And it is, let's see, how much does this bad boy cost? No price, so I guess it's free. Thank you, Mike. Oh, I got it, I got it. Dude, $69.99? This rod feels really good for 70 bucks. What is, what we got, what we got? We got a 7.3 Heavy Fast. Oh yeah, oh yeah, what's our other options? 7.3 Heavy, 7.3 Heavy. Ooh, spinny rod, 6.9 Medium Moderate. Seven foot Medium Heavy Moderate. Yeah, 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 we're going with the 7.3 Heavy. Okay, I was looking at the combos over here. I didn't find anything that I liked, so I'm gonna build my own by myself so I can beat them. And I already know that this one is good because I've used it before. So, so I'm going with this. I'm, I'm gonna put it back while until I get ready to check out. I don't know how I always get the short end of the stick in my videos. I feel like that's how it usually goes. Like Norm always gets the short end of the stick in his videos. I always get the short end in my videos. <sighs> I'm not seeing any Ozark press stuff. Oh, that is not good. Is this Ozark? No. Oh, this is though. Yes. Okay. What is, okay. 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 All right. Ozark trail six foot eight medium. Okay, okay, we can work with that. Six foot eight medium. We do, in fact, have an Ozark Trail rod. Now all we need is an Ozark Trail reel. Please, for the love of God, please. No, 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 no. Shakespeare, Zebco, Shimano, Abu Garcia, Daiwa, Okuma, Ben. No. Dude, there is no, if I'm stuck fishing with a $9 combo after, I, I, Trey and April are fixing to break the bank because Academy and Bass Pro always have such good store brand stuff. I'm not even kidding. Literally look at this. There is no Ozark Trail. Is there, there's no real case of it. There is no Ozark Trail anything. Oh, man, dude, I could, hear me out. I could bend the rules a little bit and get like a, you know, a $50 Black Max, but I'm not going to because it's not Walmart brand. So it looks like I'm going to be stuck with a $9 combo. We've made it to the reel section. I got three options. I got Premier Baitcast Reel, Ethos Baitcast Reel, which matches the Ethos rod, but that one does, or it's $85 for the Ethos, $49 for the Premier, and we have a $70 metal here. So, I mean, the options are pretty good. We got a 6-6 six, six to 1, 6-6 six, six to 1, 6-6 six, six to 1, 7-3 to 1. Hmm, I'm gonna go for that 7 I'm sorry, Mike. I don't have any budget, but I'm gonna go for the middle price reel for the $70 reel because it's a 7-3 to 1 gear ratio. And you know me, I like a fast reel. I like to pick up that line so I can set that hook, boy. Insert clip of me jacking one's jaw.
Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we got a solid combo. Let's go get some baits and maybe get a little bit of string. String her up. Here is a left-handed grill. It's the only one that I've seen over here. But I don't have a budget, and I kind of want to look around for a minute, so I'm going to go over here and look and see what they have. shot they have a left ended reel on the rack ready to grab i've actually seen tj trey and norm use this mega cast and they've caught fish on it so i'm definitely gonna get this i'm tripping dude all right do i want blue or do i want orange oh guys you won't believe it it comes with one ball bearing oh gosh dude okay well oh that one feels a little janky we don't want that one dollar combo let's go yak let's go okay wayfarer oh my god dude, the drag of course of course so ozark trail nine dollar combo that's gonna be what we have to go with and that actually makes me angry and for baits no shot there is no chance okay Five foot six medium light Ozark Trail frog. Please tell me. Am I tripping? Why do I not see any Ozark Trail soft plastics? There's no shot. Literally, look at this. We're going to start here and we're going to work our way down. You guys have been to Walmart and seen Ozark Trail soft plastics. They're in the orange and like green bag. Literally, nothing. Nothing, nothing. What did we do? Bro, I really drew the short end of the stick with that one. No Ozark Trail anything, except the frog. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Ozark Trail five piece lure set and an Ozark Trail frog on a $9.99 Ozark Trail, five foot six, medium light. Is it a medium light or is it just a light? It's a medium light. I would try to say something funny for you guys, but I can't even make this stuff up. Catching a fish on a frog on a five foot six, medium light. Good luck with that. Um, a jerk bait. We're in Florida, a lot of grass. Probably not gonna use that. Two deep diving crankbaits. We're in Florida, a lot of grass. Probably not gonna use that. <laughs> So we have a rattle trap and a popper and a frog and zero soft plastics. My entire setup costs $22. And I just know for a fact, Trey and April's is gonna be expensive. So I just stumbled on this sign that reads, H2X soft plastics and crankbaits, purchase four or more and get 25% off. You already know, Academy's got the best deals out there. Bass Pro, rip off. Walmart, junk. Academy. So, we have a lot of good options here. I'm not gonna lie. Cinco's, everybody knows. Cinco, throw it out there, hold it, sit it still, do nothing with it. And then, next thing you know, doink. Got him. Oh, oh yeah. H2OX. Swim jig, that's what I'm talking about, Academy. For a dollar ninety-nine, let me get that. All right, while we're in the soft plastic section, it'd only be right to get a fluke. I kind of like this smoke gray color. I don't know, I like it. Why do I like it? I don't know, I just do. We'll get that too. Let's see, what is this, a big worm? Bro, the prices on these baits are so good. Like. It's ridiculous how good of a price these baits are. I need something to put on the back of this swim jig. Oh, 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 oh. Perfecto. Crawfish. $3.99. And that is four Academy baits, so you can go ahead and check that 25% discount off. Oh. Alright, so let's just put this in perspective here. We have a pack of Kitex. Good bait. Nobody can say they're not. Good bait. 
Very, very, very fragile though for $7. Or you can get the exact same thing for $5 and they're way more durable. You can catch twice the amount of fish on this as you can on that. If you rig that one wrong, it's done. Like, that's the deal. Oh. There's a soft spot in my heart for an Academy Popper. It's OG. Like, that's one of the first topwater baits I ever got was an Academy Popper. And let me just go ahead and tell you, it's probably one of the best poppers and it's also one of the cheapest. You already know, white, a little bit of orange, gas. Throw it in the bucket. You know what? Just for fun, we'll get a little, little rattle trap. Cause you know, always stay trapping. Oh, I want a chatter bait. Oh, do they have them in? Well, they don't have chatter baits at Bass Pro, so I'm gonna go for a spinning bait. I'm gonna go for this one right here for three dollars and forty nine cents. Which it doesn't matter because I don't have a budget and I can get whatever I want to get. This this is where it's at right here. This is where it's at. I'm gonna get a pack of these. Um, I'm gonna get a pack of these. I don't even know what they are, but I'm just gonna get them because there's no budget and I can do what I want because it's not my money. Okay, these are a little bit longer than these. So I'm gonna get a shorter one just in case I need for a little fish, but I don't think I'm gonna catch a little fish today. I think I'm gonna catch big fish. Almost took out that man's all way This bass. Okay, I don't know about down here, but they might be on beds, they might not be. So I'm gonna get something just in case. And this one's on sale for two dollars and ninety-seven cents. And I'm gonna get it because it's on sale and I may need it. And if they're not on beds, I have this and I can use this as a trailer for this to catch the 12 pounder that I'm gonna catch today. I think I'm doing so well in my baits that I only need one more bait, I think. That's all I want. Here's some more stuff. Sassy Sally, shut it off. Why do I just wanna buy this because of the name? I'm gonna get it because I don't have a budget. And Sally, I just feel like Sassy Sally will catch some. I know I said one more like two or three times, but really this will be the last, unless I see something else. Okay, right here is a little bit of crankbait. Now I just gotta pick the color that speaks to me. And I don't know, this just bright always makes me feel like it'll catch a fish. So, I'm gonna go with that. And I thought about going with a pop daddy because TJ always uses it, but he never catches a fish with a pop daddy, so I'm not getting that. Okay, I got all the baits that I'm wanting. I'm gonna go grab my rod and reel and go check out so I can begin fishing. These awesome ladies checking us out at Academy. I swiped that card because, you know, unlimited budget plus a little swipe, you know. Where did you get that hat? Out in Bass Pro. Uh, what is this called? Uh, what does that say? I mean, it that's was a, that's a uh, Bass Pro brand. Is it? It is. It was unlimited budget, and you didn't really technically okay. say you just had to get fishing stuff. That's so. true. Yeah. Damn. Loser. Damn. Oh. <laughs> you did it as hard as you could. Through a dart. All right, we've made it to where we're gonna rig everything up now. Let's go over what everyone spent, and I'll go last because. Yeah, I just... Okay, Trey, you go. Your pack's looking a little empty over there. What yeah, happened? Yeah, well, we'll talk about that here in a second. How much did you spend, Trey? I spent a whopping... I really think I got a pretty good deal, for real. Yeah? That's a long receipt. With a long price tag. Yeah. I spent so much money, it doesn't even say. Really? So it brought that. Oh, $215. Oh. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. Okay. $214.63. Okay. Total U.S. dollar two fourteen point six three. Dang, Trey. Two hundred and fourteen dollars. Okay. That's a lot of stuff, and I. You were trying to break the bank. No, I did good. How much did you spend in Bass Pro? Let's see. Yeah. 
Okay. I only spent $115, and I was so nice. I gave them a donation. I usually always do that at Bass Pro. So $215, $115. Oh. Would you spend 15? My total was 26. No, that's yours. Trade this is you for today. <laughs> yeah, there you go. My total was $26.50 because this is all a uh, bass. How is much a, did you spend? This is all Walmart had in their fishing set. <laughs> not a single bag of Ozark Trail soft plastic. Not a single bag. That's all I had. So my total was twenty six dollars. Oh, and to top that off, I got a nine dollar Ozark Trail combo. You know this is unlimited this budget, is so right? Funny. Yeah, yeah. It was unlimited budget, and I got stuck with a nine dollar combo. It's a little baby, really. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All I gotta okay. say about that is that's tough. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna get rigged up, and then the uh, first spot of the day is right across the street. So let's get rigged up, and then let's go catch the fish. We know who's gonna have a hard day today. And it's gonna be me. Mm. You gotta love Don't say it. that. You gotta love it. All right, so while they get rigged up really quick, because mine is already got line and everything on it, it's already rigged up. Check out this truck that Chevrolet let me use for the week. This is a Bison Edition 2500 HD ZR2 Duramax. This truck is absolutely massive. It comes with 18 inch wheels and 35 inch tires as it sits. Massive, beautiful just insane truck look at this on the inside it's a little well it's not really dirty but we have our stuff right here we have tums because we're getting up there in age and we get a little heartburn but this thing is insane look at this oh god let's give her a start listen god that diesel sound is just something else one of the coolest things i've seen look at this rearview mirror 4k camera how cool is that all the space in the world like i said it's got a bunch of stuff back there because we've been filming in the past like three days non-stop but absolutely awesome truck like literally couldn't ask for a better vehicle so huge shout out thank you to chevrolet for uh loaning me this bad boy and if this video gets one like we'll take it off road in the everglades so yeah beautiful zr2 silverado 2500 hd bison duramax bro it doesn't get much better than that we have made it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it to the pond, and we're about to catch some fish. I got my metal reel, H2X Ethos, and I'm gonna start with the swim jig and swim bait. I am extremely excited. I'm extremely excited to get out here and see what we can find. I feel like we're gonna find some fish today. The pond looks beautiful. Good grief, that's effortless, and I just cast it all the way across the pond. And I stepped in a hole. No way, not first cast. No way, no way. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. No way, first cast, bro? Get out of here. Oh, it's a good one. No way, no way, no way. No way, first cast, bro? That's insane. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> let's go ahead and, let's, oh, I'm gonna FaceTime TJ and see what he thinks. First cast, literally first cast. What? <laughs> Let's go. Yep. We ain't even yet. Well, y'all have fun. I'm gonna keep catching them. So TJ and April haven't even parked yet, and I've already got. I mean, that's a pound and a half. That's a that's a two pounder all day long. TJ and April ain't even parked yet, and I already got a two pounder. Thanks for biting, buddy. We will catch you next time. See ya. Well, that's crazy, and this combo feels really good. Oh, all right, boys. We are here at spot number one. And I don't know, again, I don't understand how I got the booth end of the stick, but I did. But that's okay. That is okay. We're going to make it work. Got five foot six medium light. You got to love it. Your brakes are as tight as I could get them. So you'll have to adjust that. If, or if you want me to adjust it for you, I can. Oh, no shot. Do I got one or is that grass? Oh, it's grass. Oh, God. I'm not it sure we're... Far. What, baby? It don't go far. You, it don't go far? Okay, that's because your brakes. Yeah, I don't know where Trey ventured off to, but... 
let's see. Let me see it and I'll tighten it up or I'll loosen it up for this you. This way? Nope. Uh, away from you on that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. That might be... Basically, you want to let this as a spinner bait, right? So you just want to, this is this is a perfect speed right here. You just cast and just steady reel it like this. Every now and then, you can give it a little pop like that if you want to. But same concept as a chatterbait. Chatterbait is just more for like grass. You can it comes through grass a little easier than a spinnerbait does. Let me get one more cast with it and see. Yeah. All right, that's good. Yeah. There we go. You can let it when it hits the water because the, the just the shape of the bait. It takes it a second to sink like oh it just got hit right there did you see that you missed it i think it was a little like a little bluegill might have hit it but yeah just cast it out as far as you can or whatever let it sink for two seconds just count your head one huh which way are we going we're gonna walk to the left but just uh like one two in your head and then start steady reeling i can't believe that walmart had not a single Ozark Trail soft plastic. That does not make any sense to me whatsoever. Did you, hang on. Did you have one? Mm -mm. Oh, got one. Oh, I got one. Let's go. Let's go. On the $9 combo. On the $9 combo. Oh, let's go. Let's go. The $9 combo. Strikes first. I don't know what Trey caught or if he's caught anything at all. First fish of the day on the board for me. A little one pounder though. I don't think it's gonna take any kind of size winnings for today. Oh, I just hooked myself. God, dude, you gotta love that. Good buddy. One is out crush the ozark trail crankbait yeah that's a little one pounder right here oh hey buddy how did you catch a fish on a nine nine dollar rod uh just like that cast and reel baby cast and reel holy that's smokes ridiculous. all right first fish of the day for me that's gonna be a big fish one day that's got a little thick tail to it but not bad the ozark trail combat anything bigger than this is gonna be a struggle for this nine dollar ozark trail wayfarer combo but awesome to start the day with a good little fish Let's just see if we can upgrade on the $9 combo from Walmart. Oh yeah, baby. Fish number two. What we got, what we got, what we got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice little guy. Sweet. On that swim jig. Oh yeah. That's not gonna be the tournament winner. And of course we've got weed eaters going right now because what's a YouTube video without lawn care? Thank you, buddy. Thanks for biting. Catch you next time. Peace. Well, I've caught two fish so far on this Academy rod and it is feeling really good. Like extremely nice. Swim jig's nice. The swim bait's nice. Academy's that, Academy's that gas. For real. If you got an Academy near you, that's where I'd be shopping. Oh yeah, another one. Boom, baby. Oh, this is gonna be a smash fest today. Oh yeah, check that out. Check that out. Boom, baby. Let's go. Goodness. Chunky little guy, super healthy bass. Gotta love it. Thanks for biting, buddy. See ya, give you a little toss. That's three fish on one swim bait. Animal. Animal. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the spinner bait. That's a good one. Flip him. That's a good one. Flip him. Oh, let's go. On oh, the oh. spinner bait. This is oh, my first my time God. catching a fish on a spinner bait. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's a solid, that's a solid two pounder for sure. First fish on the Bass Pro combo. Look, it's the lucky hat. It is the hat. It is the hat. It that's is a two pounder hat. for sure. I swear. First fish 
on a spinner first bait. cast that i'm just kidding <laughs> i wish but it is my first fish of the day and the first fish on spinner bait yeah look at that first and first and first golly that's a good first one time that definitely beats like mine this. first time spinner bait first bass yeah that one definitely beats mine for sure by like a pound yeah, so i'm i'm winning i don't know what trey's called but probably little rats good job <laughs> Heck yeah, on the spinner bait. There you go. I feel like fishing with this like, well actually I don't even have a choice. I was gonna say, I don't really have a choice. I'm talking about fishing like soft plastics, but fishing a five foot six medium light, I mean, you're basically gonna have to have treble hooks because setting the hook with like a Texas rig or something like that, probably not gonna be able to happen. And then even the little Fred rig would probably work too, but they don't have Walmart brand ned hooks ned heads so i couldn't do that anyways if i wanted to oh is that grass i can't tell if that's grass or fish that's grass got me a grass bass oh i watched him eat it i watched him eat that no that was way. so sick oh my gosh he come out from the like middle of nowhere and crushed this god that was sick he hauled this thing down. I hope I'm gonna try to zoom in on the GoPro see if you guys can see that. But that was a sick freaking eat right there. Oh my gosh. How big is he? Like six pounds. Shut up. No, not really. There we go. Definitely a little bit smaller than the first one I caught. A little smaller. If it ain't smaller, it's probably about the same size, yeah. but not gonna take the lead for me. Don't know what Trey's caught yet, but April's definitely, uh, her fish is definitely bigger than the two that I've caught. So let's go, dude. He hawked it. He come out from like, I was fishing right here and he come out, it's like a tilapia mess right there. But he come out from this grass right here and freaking hawked it. Dude, that was so sick. God, this little Walmart combo is putting in some work. Maybe it's okay that I only got a $10 combo. <laughs> I was about to say that just shows that you can spend $25 yeah and go catch some fish. 25 bucks you can go catch fish you don't have to go you don't have to break the bank to go catch fish it's crazy trey got 200 what 215 dollar baits rod reel set up everything i don't know mm -hmm. what he's called but two fish in we ain't been fishing but 20 minutes probably actually i'm the gopro's been running 18 minutes and 15 seconds and i've caught two fish already on a 20 or a 10 dollar combo and a ozark trail lipless crankbait how freaking cool is that and imagine like spending 215 dollars on like a setup and then going out and not catching a fish versus you guys spend 25 dollars on a setup and you don't yeah. catch no fish you would feel less bad you would feel less bad i know that's a good fish that is a good fish <gasps> i spit it did you see I that i seen it he spit it that was every bit of a five pounder i knew he was going to spit it i felt him literally about to jump and there's nothing that i could have done about that that breaks my heart but that that was a big that I was a six pounder that, that was a six pounder god dude that breaks my heart i felt him coming up to jump oh good lord that hurts my heart and soul i didn't get a uh, good enough hook into him oh. your rod was bent all i know the way back. i know yeah i bet trey just texted me let's see yep I seen that fish fall it all the way up. No way. Let's go, baby. I seen him waking behind it. He waited to eat it until he got, he waited to eat it until he got to the reeds right there. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this guy on the scale just, just for funsies. 3.07, nice, good one. 
nice little three pounder can't beat it gotta love it see ya thanks for biting that makes fish number four on the same swim bait and it's still good uh oh oh dang it i just broke my swim jig off well that's the end of that i caught seven fish on the swim jig and the same swim bait so i mean i guess that's pretty good all right nope what do i want now oh yeah we're going for the fluke Oh yeah, let's go catch one. So I went from a 3 8 ounce swim jig to a weightless fluke and this reel is still casting it effortlessly. Pretty hard to beat for a $70 reel. Pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Although I am running it with some brakes on this time. I know most of the time, I'm always like, oh, set your reel, all you gotta do is take your brakes, turn them all the way off. But this one, she's a little temperamental. I had to put some brakes on her. Finally got one on a fluke. Hello. After about 19 missed fish, I finally stuck one on the fluke. It's a good one. Two pounder. Super fun, buddy. Thank you for that. I will always appreciate you. Hey, tell your mama, tell your sister, tell your grandma. I want to see her. Got to have a meeting with her. Go say a word to your grandma. Tell her bring me some cookies and bite my bait. See y'all. Peace. There he goes. Back into the wilderness. That would have been insane. You're fishing in the bathtub. Got another one. Got another one. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Don't jump. Don't jump. It feels decent. Oh. Oh, that's a decent one. That's decent. Okay. Oh, it's got a little chunk of dunk belly on him. Okay. Okay, that's my, well, actually, I don't even know if that's the biggest one. Look at this. He's got, he's got bit by a bird or something. That's a really pretty bass. I feel like his mouth is short though. Look, like kind of got like a, yeah, overbite or something. Yeah, look at that. His mouth is messed up. This is a, look, this fish got something wrong with it. No, definitely not. It's the chunkiest one for sure. Look at that belly on that thing, but I'm gonna get him back because he's got a little injury, but three fish for me could have been four with a six pounder <laughs> golly come on. Come, on. come on let's go come on let's go fish number three dude she's cranking up i'm coming hang on let's see it I barely hooked this thing. Oh, look at that. Like, oh, yeah, see, yeah, you did barely hook him, didn't you? Oh. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> fish number two? Fish. On the spin. You want to keep fishing the spinnerbait yeah. or you want to change? I don't know. I think I might go for. I mean, you've caught two on it. The crankbait? The crankbait? Not a bad idea. There you go. Not a bad idea. Yeah. High five. Good job. You want to try your crankbait? Yeah. All right, I'll tie that in for you. Okay, well, I've caught two fish on the spinning bait, so I decided to change it to this crankbait lipless one. This pretty color. See if I can catch some more fish. God, thing whips. Holy smokes. Yeah, just threw this thing in my No hole. shot, is that a... 
thought it was grass. I thought you just had a big old fish. I thought I had a unit. But I was waiting on the head shake and I never felt it. Oh, that's what it is. I got a tree I brought with me from across the lake. If we're doing this decent, I wonder how Trey's doing. Like, that makes me curious. Trey's also super serious and he hates to lose. Like, everybody hates losing, but like, Trey really hates to lose, especially when it comes to anything fishing. So I feel like he's like put his game face on big time. He literally cut a cartwheel over it. That was crazy. I hope my GoPro caught that. That was literally nuts. God, that was so cool. That's about the coolest bite you can possibly get from one this size. Crazy. Not much, but so awesome. Such an awesome, such an awesome, awesome fish. Oh, largemouth. You really just can't beat it. See ya. And the cheese. Ooh, did a little, another little dive for us. Oh yeah, baby, another flip fish. They're just all the same size. I'm not sure why. I'm thankful for you biting though. He was very fun to catch. He wasn't going nowhere. Y'all, so much fun, so much fun. Thanks again, see you next time. I need to see you next time when you're about mm, six pounds bigger. There he goes. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh my gosh, dude. They're literally all the same size. They are healthy in here, though. That is for doggone sure. He wasn't going nowhere. He got an absolute lip piercing. We'll get you back into the hydrilla you go. Peace. Oh, right there, right there at the bank, right there at the and bank. And we're doubled up, and we're doubled up. Oh, let's up. go, are we doubled? We are doubled up, and this is a big, <gasps> Keep doing, keep going, keep going. Oh really my God, good. I don't know if I can get this thing here. Oh. TJ, oh my God, oh my, there's one huge one behind Oh. That's a tilapia. Pull him up and walk him up like real and walk. Hang on, don't move. Don't move. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. You don't know how much work I just put in for this fish. Okay, like myself and April just doubled up. Yeah. This is a very tiny bass. Look at the size of this tilapia. I wear a size 12 croc. A size 12. I'm gonna put this bass back though and then deal with this. Holy oh smokes. Oh my gosh. Come put your hand beside it. That's probably the biggest fish of the day. Y'all didn't say it had to be oh, bass. Wait a minute. Y'all did not say it had to be a well, bass. Well, you are 100% right. And whoever catches the biggest fish today gets to keep all of this gear. I got a face on Trey. You are 100%. I did not say bass did i no oh my god i promise you that's probably pick it up i bet it's 12 pounds oh my gosh trey please answer oh man dude that thing is massive tj i didn't even think i, I thought i was gonna break my rod <gasps> that is massive hold that god this How do you get that unhooked? You can lip them, but it's just scary because it's such a big fish. Yeah. There was one behind it too. Yeah. I'm saying, how are we gonna get it unhooked? That's what I'm about to work on right now. Watch this peeing everywhere, so watch out. It's unhooked, okay. I don't really want to mess with that, yeah. Okay, that might, like, I wear a size 12 croc and y'all saw how big that was. That was no joke. Like I'm totally guessing here, but with a little bit of accuracy, cause I, I've caught a ton of those. 
that was probably a nine, nine and a half pound tilapia. And we did not say a species. I didn't specify on species, so. Sorry. <sighs> oh my God. Oh, you know, gonna... I've only ever done that. Like usually with tilapia, you fish with like tiny hooks and bread, really? but I've caught probably like 10 or 15, like half that size on traps, like rattle traps, lipless crankbaits. That was crazy. I'm trying to see if it bent up my hooks. Okay, I'm good. It didn't bend them out? No. If a nine pound tilapia didn't bend your hooks out, that is a good bait. Yeah. Oh my God, we, I can't believe we doubled up. I got a little baby bass and you freaking I, smoke a nine pound tilapia. Yeah, if he's Trey, gonna, Trey is gonna lose his mind if he loses this challenge to a tilapia. When I, oh, I cannot explain to you how bad myself and Trey hate tilapia. Like, I'm, yeah, I know you, it was a little far of a cast. Just walk it back, thumb on the spool and walk back. I don't want to lose this. <laughs> don't do your, don't bend, don't break your rod. Did it come off? Did it break? It looks like it's still on there. This broke off. Oh my gosh. I wanted to get something so bad on that. Dang, that's that's heartbreaking. And I have 10 pound line. Ain't no shot. I just lost mine. You better go in for it. No, because I know how what kind of freaking alligators live here and I don't even see it. God, dude. Oh. I should have bought two of those kits. <laughs> <laughs> all right i guess what i'm gonna do is start or uh not start. i guess what i'm gonna do is tie on the popper pop daddy let's see what the action on this thing looks like not terrible Good Lord, dude. Tragic. That's a good cast right there. That is a really good cast. You got one? Yep, I'm on. Oh my God, I said it was a good cast. And it was a good cast. Yeah, come back this way with it. Come back this way. Run him up here to the bank. There you go, look at that. I said, that's a good cast. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be my biggest fish of the day, but. <laughs> Good hook set, look at that. I've been practicing. Uh, yeah, I see that. There you go. Fish a baby. Well, there you go. Got <laughs> me another fish. Yeah, not gonna beat the nine pound tilapia. <sighs> okay, we're about to let you go, okay? I'm gonna throw you over this grass so you'll survive. Whee! <laughs> that fish just went on a flight on American Airlines. That one's big. That one's big. That one's big. We finally got a good one. We got our mama. Oh yeah, that one's big. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Come here. Come here, big girl. Come here. Oh wow. Oh wow. Come here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Boom. Hello. That's freaking awesome. On the fluke, dude, get out of here. That's crazy. That's a giant. I think that one's probably gonna win, boys and girls. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, wow. 7.27. 
7.31. We're locked in at 7.27. 7.27 big in big in big in big in absolute freaking giant can't beat that unit boys and girls absolute unit 7.27 giant 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 look at that mouth just a freaking beast absolute animal good grief a 7.27 giant enormous big old bass god that's crazy huge bucket mouth oh my goodness all right big mama let's get you back where you belong in the swamp Got a nice little pretty hole right here I'm gonna get you back oh, see you later girl what a beautiful fish so awesome and she's gone oh that was sick what do you say after that 727 weighed on the Rapala scale pretty accurate scale that fish was big i'm not gonna lie and uh i needed that it's been a while since i've caught a big one it's been like two weeks <laughs> that fish just missed it twice i don't understand <laughs> Oh, do I got a fish? I do have a fish. I do have a fish. There's a fish. I do have a on fish. The on top water. On top water. Get out. Is it a good one? I don't know. On the popper. My drag is screaming though. He's running straight to me. Get out, buddy. On the pot. I didn't even feel him hit it. Oh, it's a decent one. Not bad at all. On the popper. Pop That's why they call me Pop, Pop Daddy. Yeah, he crunched that one. He wasn't getting away from that. That's a color. Wow, that's a really, that's the second bass that I've caught that's got some sort of like abrasion on the side of him. But yeah, look at the color on him. He's like, yeah, I don't know, weird. His mouth is like super pink too. Oh. First fish on uh, t on the popper for me. Good job. Not gonna, not gonna do any good for a big fish competition, but small fish are better than no fish, I reckon. I didn't even feel him hit it. I thought I was still popping it, and then there was just some weight to it. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on. Ooh. I'm on. Oh, she got a good one going. Oh, it spit it. Oh, it spit it. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Real. I think it got off. Did it? I don't know. No. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh my God, that's a crappy. That's a crappy. I caught crappy. That's a crappy. I caught crappy. Oh my God. What's a crappy? I caught it. This thing right Ew. here. Ew. What are you doing today? I'm telling you. Look. Oh, you're trying to hook me. Look, you eat these. This is uh, I eat that? delicious. Delicious. One of the best freshwater Check. fish you can eat. Crappy. I, what are you doing? Um, You've casting? caught bass, sloppy, and crappy. Casting? Really? Not only are, do you have most likely the biggest fish today, you also have the most species. That is true. That means I get something extra for me. Take you to McDonald's for dinner tonight on a date? Can, can I get a McDouble instead of just a cheeseburger? Yeah, you can get a double. What about a McFlurry? A McFlurry? That's pushing it. Yeah, you can get a McFlurry. Okay, bad. Oh, this is scary. Nah, just lip him. Just lip him. He's got sharp spines. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. Look at that crappy. That is crazy. You've caught three biggest different species. Biggest crappie I've ever seen in my life because this is my first one, so <laughs> it's the biggest one. And you end up catching it on a freaking spinner bait. Dude, it, sometimes it just don't even make no sense what you do on the water, but <laughs> you do it. So, good catch, though. Thank you. Yeah. Give me five. You are killing it. Killing it. This is the deal. Ready? Oh my God, that was a good Stop. one. Top water. Stay down. Stay oh, down. Stay down. Stay it's down. Stay down. It's jumping. It's jumping. I know. It's, it's jumping. jumping. It's I know. Jumping. Stay down. Stay down. <gasps> it's flipping. Oh God. Come here. Come to Poppy. Come to Poppy. Come to Poppy. 
Oh my gosh, look at your rod. It is bent off. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Flip it. Oh my god. Look at how he ate this thing. Look at this. Let me see. <gasps> oh, his mouth's quite hardened. You think that fit? he wasn't even hooked on the back side? Look. Not even hooked on the back. You think that fish wanted that popper? Yeah. My God. It really That's was. definitely my best uh, bass of the day. That's a good one. That's every bit of two pounds. That one probably ties with April's biggest bass. That was my but first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not your nine pound tilapia. The fish is bleeding, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw him back. Where's my line? Yeah, he's bleeding a little bit, so I'm gonna throw him back, but. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. man. God, that hurt. I was fixing to like, call the ambulance. You was going to call the ambulance for me? Yeah. Golly. Well, that was a little two-pounder on top water on the the Walmart. <laughs> Dude, this thing, fighting fish on this thing is insane. Like, Is it fun? It's fun, but... The oh, trip? is it broke now? No, it's not broke. <laughs> he smoked that popper. He did. Boy, was hungry. Yeah. Well, 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 we meet oh, again. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom is up. Okay. Well, me and April fished together, and I know 100% April caught a bigger fish than I did. 100%. Ooh, bless you. Bless you. All right. What did you catch, Trey? Because that was on my mind the whole entire time. I don't know. Mm. I just feel like you did. I mean, I caught some bass. Okay. All right. What was your biggest fish, you think? What do you think? That's a, a bunch of one pounders or one That's singular one big one singular big one. Well I promise I didn't only catch one. No? No. What do you think you got? Like maybe one and a five after that, maybe about fifteen. Oh god. Okay, you did better than us, that's for sure. What was y'all's big fish? Well, my big fish was maximum two pounds. Okay, I Max. got you. I got you beat, so okay. thanks for playing. Yeah. Thanks for the donations. Yeah. Yeah. April, what was your big fish? My first fish was a two pounder. Yeah. Okay. We knew, we knew. Yeah, yeah. But then, Again. you know, when this challenge first started, mm -hmm. it was like, who can catch the biggest fish today? Mm -hmm. TJ never said you have to catch I the biggest, like biggest <laughs> bass. Did you catch a carp? No. No. You ain't gonna believe it. No. I call. No, because I've got something to show y'all. <laughs> no. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe it. No, I didn't have a scale. I probably got like a nine or ten pound tilapia. Yeah, on a trap. And I myself have caught a bunch of tilapia on traps and then on bread and stuff. That fish minimum was nine pounds. I wear a size 12 croc and it was like, it would have engulfed three of these. It was so massive. if you didn't catch anything over nine or ten pounds. I messed up because I said fish, not bass. Y'all both are losers of today's challenge. What do you got? I caught a seven and a half pound largemouth. Oh my <laughs> god. A seven and a half pound largemouth. 7.27 on the Rapala scale. And a the Rapala 727. And by all technicalities, a seven and a half pound largemouth loses a big fish challenge. <laughs> because I messed up and didn't say big bass. Oh God. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause in the comments for April for once again, putting in work and taking advantage of the rules to a uh, fishing challenge. It was the hat. All right. Before we hat. let everybody go, what did you think about your combo and baits? My combo and baits were awesome. Yeah. So I think I want to use that rod. I, I was really jealous the rod, of that rod. The rod is awesome. It's balanced well. The guides are nice. Okay. Light, sensitive. Yeah. Awesome. What the about real? you? The real, oh yeah, the real. The real, good, but she takes a little, little TLC. She I takes got a you. little adjusting. I got you. But what about you? I think that, I mean, the video will prove that my combo was apparently the best combo you could buy. Oh, oh my God. So, okay, I well, loved it. we're not going to hear no the end complaints. of this. No, so we might as well get no yeah. it. Yep. I lost about a five or six pounder on mine on a trap, and I felt him. I caught him kind of deep and I felt him swimming oh, up. No. And I knew as soon as he got up, I knew he was going to shake it. And, and there was nothing I could do. I had a five, a five foot six Dude, medium line. Yeah, you got the short straw for yeah, sure. Yeah, there wasn't nothing I could do. But I my combo, I'll tell you this for $25 worth of fishing lures, 
Very, very good. Uh, what I like if you're on a budget and you just want to go fishing or even if you want to get something like that for your kids like that little That'd rod good, was yeah. you saw me catch fish on it that rod was a good rod so anyways thanks again for watching and uh like i said round of applause in the comments for april because once again the gray area she she took the win but anyways we're gonna go actually do some donuts in this truck on this dirt road right here so yeah all right well we're gonna do some donuts on the dirt road in the truck love you guys Congrats, April. Catch you on next venture. Peace. I mean, can't come to Bass Pro and not look at the fish tank. And I need to test out my new hat to see if it helps me see the fish better. See them already. I see them so much better than I would have without my hat. This is the weirdest looking bass I've ever seen in my life. And I don't know, I think these are big shiners. They just let them grow. I don't know. This this shiner's probably like, if I had to guess, like 40 years old. Just living its best life in a tank, just getting fed every day. Just have to be worried about getting eight. I don't know.